Hello Grade 12s, welcome to our channel once again. My name is Velele Nkosi. In this video, we are answering a previous question paper. The questions are based on genetics. So today I will be looking at monohybrid crosses and then I will explain how fathers determine the gender of the child. So here are the questions. Uh, here are the questions. So if you want to work on the questions before you see solutions, you can post the video here, then work on the questions. This will help you to see how far are you with genetics. So without wasting more time, then let's get to it. Question number one, say, the diagram below shows the inheritance of the flower color in snapdragon plants. The two allele controlling the flower color are red, which is capital letter R, and white, which is capital letter W. So we have alleles, uh, which is red and W. Then if you see on the sketch, we see a red flower, we see a white flower. So when a red flower is crossed with a white flower, they produces a pink flower. Then this kind of dominant is called incomplete dominant. So incomplete dominant is where uh, we see intermediate phenotype. So here the phenotype is different from the, the crossed phenotype. So this is intermediate dominant. So this is the information that, that I can take out now. Then let's get to the questions. Uh, question number 4.1 say, state the type of dominant showed by the step dragon plant. So here we have to state the type of dominant and the type of dominant is incomplete dominant so the answer is the incomplete dominance then the next question question 4.2 uh, question 4.2 say give a reason for your answer to question 4.1 so now we have to give a reason uh, 4.2 so now we have to give a reason like they say if red flower is crossed with white flower they produces a pink flower and then the pink phenotype it's intermediate phenotype then that is mean none of either red or white are dominant that is where we have incomplete dominant so to answer this question you can say pink is a intermediate phenotype Because pink is an intermediate phenotype, therefore, none of these alleles are dominant. So, neither red nor white is dominant. So, this is how you can write it. Also, this is how we can write the reason why we say uh, this is incomplete dominant. Then, going to the next question, the next question say. A gardener crosses two pink flowered snap dragon plants. Use a genetic cross to show the ratio expected phenotype in the offspring. So here, the uh, two pink flowered are crossed. It's not red and white. It's two pink flowered. And then we know that the phenotype is pink. Then the genotype, because here we this pink is produced by red and white. So genotype will be red and white so we believe r and w this is our genotype is the genotype that we will be used on when we, we will solve uh, our problem and then so let's solve the problem uh, here i have the table then you must be able to draw these tables because uh, the only way to get the marks you must answer your quest your question like the way i will be doing now so here we have p1 p1 uh, the parents so because they are, they are crossing two pink flowered so here we will say pink so the phenotype is pink and pink so it's pink and pink and then we write the genotype so genotype of pink is rw so here we will write rw then also here and then these genotypes they will undergo meiosis so they will 
undergo the process of segregation and then they will produce gametes in it. each gene will be in different gametes so here we will have R we'll have W and then here R then W and then here are the gametes and then we will put the gametes on the Punnett square and then one gametes of one flower will be put at this column while another will put will be put at this row then we'll have R W here and then we will have R W here and then now we do fertilization and then we fertilize this here we will have R and R so we'll have red and red here we'll have red and white so red and white and then here we will also have red and white while here we will have white and white so these are the genotypes and then we will I will write the genotypes here so that you can see so we have R and R and then we have RW and then we have RW again and then we have WW and then for phenotype R and R is red so here we will have red I say one red and then we have two pink because RW is pink then here we have two pink and then we have WW which is white then we have one white this is white then this is the ratio it's one red one I mean one red two pink and then one white so this is the ratio of the offspring and then we go to the next question the next question say use a genetic cross to show how gender in human is determined by sex chromosome of the parents so now you need to remember the human karyotype so human karyotype we have 23 pair of chromosome and the pair the chromosome number 23 are sex chromosome and then in male the sex chromosome are x and y this is male and then in female the sex chromosome are x and x so now we will cross these two genotype for phenotype here I will say male so the genotype here is male and then here it's female because we are crossing male and a female and then the genotype uh, for male is X and Y then it's X chromosome and Y chromosome and then while female it's X chromosome and X chromosome and then this genotypes they will undergo meiosis and then we will have X and Y here and then here we have X and X then then we will undergo fertilization and then when we go to fertilization in this column we write the, the gamete of a male and then in this column we write the gamete of a female so here we will have X and X while here we'll have X and Y and then now we fertilized then here it will X and X so X will fertilize X and then here X again will fertilize X while here uh, X and Y also here it's X and Y so the genotype uh, X X X X and then X Y X Y so for phenotype it's 1 is to 1 so here the ratio is 1 is to 1 that is mean it's a boy I mean it's a girl is to boy so it's a girl is to a boy the phenotype it's a girl is to boy then this is how we use genetic cross to show how gender of a woman is determined and then the last question the last question say using your knowledge of sex chromosomes explain why the sex of a child is determined by a male gamete so and then we know that like we just say a sex chromosome of a male it's 
X and Y. While sex chromosome of a female is X and then X. So now we have to explain looking at these chromosomes. So first of all, I will say a normal female have two chromosomes. So you need to explain because this is five marks. You cannot just write this and say it explain. So first of all, uh, a normal female have two chromosomes. So a normal female have two sex chromosome or X chromosomes. And then a normal male have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So a normal male have one X and then one Y chromosome. And then the female always provide X in the X cell. So female, because female have two X's, that she will always provide X in the X cell. So she will always provide X chromosome in the X cell. And then if the X is fertilized by the sperm bearing X chromosome, a female is formed so if it happened that the egg is fertilized and then if it fertilized by the sperm that is carrying a X chromosome and then a female is formed and then if an egg is fertilized by the sperm carrying Y chromosome and then a male is formed This is how you explain why the sex of a child is determined by the male gametes. So a normal female have two X chromosomes, while a normal male have one X and then one Y chromosome. And then a female always provide X in the X cell because she has only X and X. And then if an egg is fertilized by a sperm carrying or a sperm bearing X chromosome, a female is formed because you will have X and X but if an egg is fertilized by a sperm bearing Y chromosome then a male is formed because now a female will provide X and then male will provide Y then a male will be formed so this is how a male determine the sex of a child so this is all for this video I hope you learned something so if you find value in this video please Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you are studying, good luck with your studies. Thank you very much. God bless you.